guys, it's your boy Mike the Great, and uh, just wanted to uh, apologize to some of my uh, main followers. I'm sorry I haven't been posting very much Dead by Daylight content. My last video, I, I ran, I kept running into that same problem after I had posted that video, and I just, I've been avoiding Dead by Daylight because I really don't want to deal with any bugs that are, that have to do with sound, especially when Killer is very very dependent on sound but today what I have for you guys is a, a Sekiro video I have been playing Sekiro I've gotten I've, I've already beaten the game and then I looked up uh, I went around uh, collecting uh, more stuff and everything vital things and so I discovered that once you get to new game plus seven that's when the difficulty of the game increased and then I found out about how you can actually debuff yourself twice and make the game even more challenging. Now, I made the mistake of legit waiting, like legit waiting till I got to New Game Plus 7 to get Bell Demon. And when I realized what Bell Demon was, I just, I just laughed it off because I'm like, really? Giving an enemy more health and posture? Like, that's nothing. I, when I got to New Game Plus 3, that's when I started using uh, Bell Demon. And when I got to, uh, after I completed New Game Plus 6, I was like, you know what? I guess I could do New Game Plus 7 with no Kuro's Charm. And um, I, it, I got used to it. Uh, I'm not going to do it now because I don't have the perfect parry time for all bosses or anything. Because to me, this game is fun whenever you're mostly fighting bosses. But when I got to my favorite boss, okay, I will be honest with you. New Game Plus and No Crow's Charm made me hate my favorite boss to fight. Like, straight up, I, I can't stand fighting him. And that's true, Monk. Like, I have a total of four hours of recorded time of me fighting true Monk because there were times that I just made stupid mistakes. You got me good. You got me good. Shit. Two hours later. See, that, all, that second hit is all... making pretty much beginner mistakes and I usually I usually cheese true monk at a third phase just to get the fight over with but I had made the conscious choice to face her and that was mistake number one truly facing her and um just I have never felt so much pressure from a boss battle in this game. Like, to me, she's probably, uh, her in her third phase, True Monk at, uh, on her, uh, third death blow, she is super aggressive. And it's, uh, ever since I've started New Game Plus 7, some of the bosses tend to do moves that they have never, that they don't even show you in, uh, previous, uh, New Games, uh, New Game Plus. Like, New Game Plus 7, like, she did this move where she jumps up in the air, and I was like, whoa, 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 what is she doing? Is, is a kanji about to appear or something? And, like, she wiped, she dusted me on the goddamn ground. But I just wanted to share my uh, Sekiro experience with you guys and everything, show y'all my uh, favorite boss fight. Um, Yeah, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. New Game Plus 7 has made me hate her. But without all further ado, guys, let's go ahead and we are going to jump right into it. She's really starting to get on my nerves. Oh, that hit me sooner than it should have. No! <laughs> 
thought I was gonna be out of range of the show. Your, your throat, uh, throat cut again. Rest assured, I will be slashing that same spot on your throat again. That same spot. Alrighty. Now she pissed off. I was sure that was gonna hit me. Getting me. How did I dodge that car?